I want to review Hero Post. It's a social media software. Right now, you can get a lifetime license to publish and add all your social media accounts and post stream to any of these social media platforms that you can see below. I've already purchased it. I played around with it, and so I want to show you the good, the bad, the ugly, and and hopefully Hero Post will listen to this. They'll improve their platform. And hopefully you can decide uh, better if you want to go and purchase a lifetime license right now with, with the big sale that's going on. So I think it costs around just shy of $200 for the lifetime, lifetime license on this product. So if I come to it real quick where it says grab deal, yeah, $197 lifetime deal. Uh, and I'll go through all the things inside it. Uh, so in here, otherwise it's a monthly program like most other social media platforms out there like Buffer, uh, Hootsuite, and obviously the list goes on. But let's go into more detail about Hero Post on how it works, what's good, what's bad. Obviously, I've only do it a handful of posts. I'm only really using it for my assistant where I automate my social media stuff and have uh, everything's they post everything for me but again i know enough to teach them and show them and go through it and that's why i'm going to do this review so when you come in you first you can go into the home it goes and it shows all the social media platforms in here so there's obviously facebook instagram twitter linkedin pinterest telegram tumblr reddit vk youtube google my business so that's really cool you can add to google my business and facebook and so forth and add posts and you can track it uh, in the app and you can also publish it all. So let's say I want to do a post and publish it across all these platforms. I can hit publish all and it's going to go to all those platforms, right? Makes it quick and easy to do that. You can also add all your social media accounts, multiple businesses. So if you manage social media accounts and you want to add all the businesses that you work with, then you can do that. Another real cool feature is this groups here. So if you come down here and go to posting groups, you can create groups. So let's say you manage, you know, 15, 20, 100, 1,000 different social media accounts. You can search for those uh, things and you can basically what you do is click add new group and you come in, you can select all the, the social media profiles to put in that group. So like the Facebook for my personal account or my business account, my Instagram, so forth. I could put it all in one group and then just go to that group to publish and it will just publish that specific group to all those social media channels. So that's a really cool feature. I really like that. I think that's it's really cool. And you just come up here, you go in and select the group that you want. And then obviously you add your posts in here. Uh, the challenge with the post uh, structure where you do a new post, obviously you can add a photo, video, link, text, so forth. Uh, you, For example, if I want to upload this, uh, let's just find a a short little video that I can add. So I'm going to come in here. I want to upload this video. Uh, so that's taking a little while. So let's actually go into a video I already have uploaded. So again, there's no way to really cancel that. So that's a downside. But let's just go into Facebook and we'll go to each one individually so you can see. Obviously, you know how to publish it all and, and go for that. Real quick before I jump into how to post, you can also click the analytics. This is a cool feature. Analytics is great. I think they could definitely improve their platform to show. And obviously you can see, oops, try again. Uh, things aren't tracking. So if I click one of the social media accounts and here, again, they're not pulling up. So that is definitely something they need to fix. Here it shows, it shows uh, the followers, the tweets, the likes and so forth and the data. Uh, I'd like to see uh, the analytic platform improve and get better, but for right now, obviously it's doing that. And, you know, I also want to make sure it shows. I you can also select here which one you want. Uh, analytics do not work for Instagram and Pinterest and some of the other platforms, so that'd be great if they start pulling that data in. So looking at Facebook, this one did pull up this time. So again, it shows a like, shows a number of followers, and you can scroll through, look at. Uh, what's going on and so forth. Uh, again, I think their their layout uh, could be more user friendly and more functional and, and so forth. On the accounts, when you add accounts right to Facebook and Tumblr, you come in here and go to your social profiles, 
right? And this is where you add all your accounts. So you come in, select add Facebook page, you go through the process, and it's gonna try to link and pull in your Facebook page data. The one downside, like you can add all your business pages, so that's great. Uh, I don't believe you can add your own personal profile, right? So you can't add your own Facebook profile, and that's the downside. So I, if I wanted to post to my own personal page, it doesn't allow for that. So that's the one drawback. So let's go into uh, from the social media account access. Now let's go to post to Facebook. And I'm gonna break them down individually so you can understand the pros, the cons, what works. So if you're just doing a regular post, um, that's fine, but I like to do a little more advanced stuff like using Content Manager with Facebook. So let's just go into my file manager. I already have some in here uh, that my assistant added. So if I click this, and let's say I wanna add this uh, video to Facebook, right? So I can add it, I can type in my caption, it also allows you to save captions here. You can go to post captions and you can save them and then just click and auto add that saved caption in. Uh, then you can add in obviously the details in here, but it's very basic. The cool thing is you can schedule. The downside is, so if we go over to, right, if I post this content within uh, YouTube directly, I added my video here, but I can also add a thumbnail. I can. Uh, add captions or it would will auto add my captions and auto generate that I can do polls I can set up tracking I can I have a lot more features when I'm posting directly myself in here um, on Facebook my account right so way more features so obviously if hero post was able to pull in the captions and they pull in the ability to put a thumbnail on it, that would be a, a big improvement to this platform. So th that applies to pretty much all platforms. Twitter works really well. Twitter, uh, it's very simple. You can go in and just post. Obviously, there's no captions on, on a Twitter post. So if you go to Twitter, it's fairly self-explanatory. You just go and post it. Here's the video I added. I can just hit tweet, add my captions. So Twitter is great and it's also awesome for Twitter because I can schedule uh, this. I can make it so it's set every th repost three days. I can have it last, you know, it's gonna post every three days until May 28th, right? And then I just click schedule, add the video and so forth. So in Twitter aspect, I really like the feature for Twitter. Uh, this is a great program for that. Um, and so same with LinkedIn. So if I wanna go into LinkedIn and hit post on LinkedIn. So again, the same drawback with uh, Facebook happens with LinkedIn. So if I wanna post, I just come in here to file manager. Obviously I can upload a video, grab it from Dropbox, pull it from other places. So those features are nice. Uh, so if I want to do a video, so I go to file manager, select the video I want, let that pull up add that so again the drawback um, is that I can't if I'm on LinkedIn you can see the features I can add a thumbnail and I can select captions so on hero post I can't add the captions this is just a description where you write in the post and then obviously the photo the cool thing is you can schedule it so that's a great feature to schedule things so for real simple posts and for photos this is awesome for videos not so great for simple text great right so again i do a lot of video content and i promote a lot of video content i think it works better on most social media platforms but if you're just trying to use it for doing photos links just text this is awesome also you can search media so if you want to do relevant content so let's say i want to do something on fitness and i pull that up right i can search for a hashtag ig hashtag fitness this will pull up a bunch of you know already post for the content of fitness does take a little while to search 
okay, you can see now this posted and pulled up that content. So if I want, I can quickly just save it and add it to my, my folders. Obviously, I don't want to do that right now, but it's really simple. You can do it by location, IG users, and so forth to, to grab more images, videos, and so forth that you can just repurpose, post uh, to your channel, add your watermark, so forth. So it's great from, like I said, from using photos uh, and content, but if you want to do more advanced features, like add your thumbnails, add captions when you post, then there's uh, a drawback with the platform. Uh, Pinterest, fairly self-explanatory. Let's get into Instagram. So again, cool thing with Instagram, I can post, I can do a live stream, I can look at my profile, I can check the analytics, and I can do direct messages with this platform on Instagram. Facebook, I can do a live stream. I haven't tested the live stream capabilities yet, uh, I'm not sure how well that will work. Same thing with YouTube. I don't use it for YouTube uh, as well, but if I go into Instagram and I do a post, I pull it up in here. Okay, so that's good. So again, I can, if I'm doing an image or story, this works great, I can schedule it. So it, it does it every so often, but I'm gonna show you on my phone, the same challenge, of course, when I want to, uh, when I want to use uh, a video, when I wanna do a video, I can go to Instagram here and I can, uh, so if I select this, I go next on that, don't wanna to go too fast. Uh, I can trim filter, but I can add a cover. So a thumbnail on it. So the challenge is I can't do this with Hero Post. And I'd love for that feature to come in for the video content and so forth. So again, if I select cover, I can add an image or I can select more things from my um, channel itself, right? So that is a great feature, but unfortunately it doesn't exist uh, on the media feature when you're working with Instagram. But obviously on a story, uh, if it's just an image, uh, being able to schedule it, being able to enter your posts and so forth, that stuff is awesome. So again, this platform, if you're doing more images and writing more content and you don't really care to do thumbnails, do captions, then this is awesome. This works great. Uh, some people say they've had trouble with support, but as you can see here, I've asked a few questions. They've answered it in less than 24 hours. Uh, it was super uh, quick and very helpful. I asked them if they had an affiliate program. They don't have an affiliate program yet, so people who want to use this as an affiliate, uh, it's not available yet. They said it's coming, so if I do have an affiliate link in here, I'd love for you to sign up for this account for two, under 200 bucks. This thing I believe is a steal uh, for what it can utilize and how you can automate it. And if you manage massive social media accounts, this is very useful to help grow your social accounts very quickly. And it has a lot of features from where you can manage all your media files in here. So all your media files get brought into here. Like I said, you can add more in and pull that in. You can look at your scheduled posts in here so you can see all of the things that are scheduled and queued that will be sent out. So in that aspect, it's awesome. You can set all those up. Uh, in your social profiles, we went through that. Your posting groups, we went through that. Posting captions, this is like I said, it's something you can create a bunch of captions that you may use on a regular basis. So like I said, I work and I automate most things for my companies and organizations that I work for or work with and that I, for myself as well so i automate this and have assistants go in here and, and post things and add content based off of that so you can add a post caption in here so they can immediately pull that caption in there um and then also watermarks you can add your own watermark to images obviously if you pull images from the platform itself to get uh images off of instagram or the other um media sites you can then add your logo in here and then post it to your social media sites and so forth. So that's kind of uh, everything run down. Hopefully that was really helpful. Obviously I didn't get into the live stream. I haven't tested that yet. If you're using it to post uh, photos and you, like I said, if you don't care to do 
uh, the, the thumbnails, the captions, and those additional features when you do video, then this platform, like I said, is a steal at under $200. You manage a lot of social media accounts, it's awesome. If you wanna schedule a post to go out regularly to build content, this is awesome. Um, the, the Instagram features with the direct messaging is great uh, in here as well. So some cool things, so let's say I come into my Instagram, in here and there's just some learning curves right so i select my account and this is going to take and it's going to pull up i can see all the messages in my direct and i can respond if i go into the profile if i select profile it's going to go into my actual profile let's say i posted something that i didn't like and i can delete it so i come into my actual profile it does take a little while to load that is a drawback of the platform but again I don't manage this myself I have my assistants doing all this and uh, give it a little while and hopefully we'll let this load here oh that's my fault I had to click the button to load the actual profile I want because you can have multiple profiles so if I'm in here this is one so it's taking a while to pull in this content but let's say I want to delete this I just can hit the delete button I'm sure it will give me a prompt uh, and then I can hit delete that post. I can hit yes or no, obviously, or just cancel. And so that's a nice feature. You can obviously do that in Instagram. It doesn't have that ability to do it in the other platforms to be able to review your, your profile and so forth. So that would be nice That would if they um, w keep working on it. They constantly say they're updating this and making a ton of changes. So like I said, I hope they were watching this video and they see all the things that could improve uh, this platform even better. And hopefully they take some of my um, things into uh, their software and make those adjustments because I guarantee it will only uh, get more people to sign up for that plat their platform. But like I said, it's a steal at $200 a month. If you use Buffer, Hootsuite, and some of the other platforms out there, you're looking at anywhere from 10 to, let's say, $35 a month to do most of these things. Uh, another feature I'd really like to see is to be able to comment, to comment on all my YouTube stuff, on my uh, Facebook stuff, my Twitter stuff. I'd like to see all those feeds brought in, like in Hootsuite, or those other platforms to be able to engage with everybody all in one platform. It will make things so much more seamless uh, and easier. I also would like some um, ability to be able to auto comment, to be able to select things where it auto comments. If it says certain things, it would comment. So if somebody created a post, I can have it auto comment, say a thank you. I can have it auto comment, ask questions. On That would be extremely powerful. And then this software would be worth its weight in gold because uh, it would save so much more time and headache for people that are trying to grow their channel. I'm sure there's a ton more things. If you guys see anything based off of my review, please leave the comment below on what you'd like to see them update because the goal is for Hero Post to watch this and hopefully they, they implement those features. And like I said, if they do come out with an affiliate a link, it'll be below and I'd love for you guys to sign up for it. I always uh, appreciate, that's why we do these videos to help you guys out, to get you more content and help your channel grow and make your life easier. Because when it comes to business and if you're a small business or even a medium sized business, it's a lot to handle to manage everything yourself as you start growing and becoming more profitable, then it makes sense to outsource. Uh, ideally, if you can outsource right away and hire somebody, that's your best decision. When you can find the right who for your business to do the, do the work that you either don't care to or they'll do a better job at it so you can focus on more things that will bring you more profit, that is the name of the game when it comes to business. So hopefully this helps. Uh, please, I'm always gonna ask you to like and subscribe to my, my channel and uh, share this video and comment below, like I said, so Hero Post can help improve this even more. Thank you and much success.